All right, so I'm gonna hope for uh, minimal wind noise here and uh, we'll see how that goes over. Okay, we got a good view here. Uh, there's a lot of cool videos on YouTube. A lot of them are challenges and I really like that, the way channels come together and do challenges. And I don't mind doing some of them as long as they are safe, don't break any laws. And of course, I don't want to encourage anyone to do anything silly. So uh, the what's in your trunk challenge is kind of right up my alley. Saw this on Blue Dreamin' and Riding In Style and uh, figured this is the perfect time. Normally you guys have seen my trunk. It's a complete total mess right now, which is kind of cool. So you guys don't always think the car is clean. Uh, and the trunk is pretty messy as well because uh, I did a few installs this week, got a few parts in. So you guys get a good insight as to what's coming up on the channel and uh, what's normally in my trunk. So uh, here we go. All right, where do you want to start? All right, first of all, I'm going to keep this here so you guys, I know you guys got a good view. Uh, we got my work backpack, uh, you know, work laptop. We've got a uh, notepad for work. Drop those right there. All right, so this here, this is a company that uh, I ran into at SEMA, Rim Protec. These guys are based out of, I believe, Australia, and they have this really cool system that uh, puts a five mile an hour um, curb rash bumper on your wheels that doesn't look horrific. Um, I'll go into this in another video coming soon, but it's basically, I got black and orange. These beads are interchangeable, so you can do different colors. You can do, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Replacements if you curb rash them. But it comes with everything you need to do the install, like cleaning swabs, uh, installation tool and stuff like that. Uh, that'll be coming up on the channel soon uh, once the weather breaks because it is uh, 3M tape, so it requires a uh, above 65 degree uh, Fahrenheit to do the install to make it stick right. But uh, I'm looking forward to installing this. I think orange may be a little bit too loud for my car, but I went with the orange just to show you guys that there are color options out there. So let's move on. Um, I want to thank the United States Post Office for delivering my one of a kind, not one of a kind actually, but my special Nick Billet signed autographed uh, parts in such an amazing condition. You know what the best part about it is? I, I kind of shed a little tear when I saw the box and it was a little smashed up. But when I opened it up and went inside, Billet Technology did such a good job packaging it, there was no damage to it. So thank you United States Postal Service, but Billet Technology kicked your butt on this one. What else do we got? We got some random vinyl, uh, extra samples for my car. Got some vinyl with cutouts for some friends. Uh, we're doing the, um, you know, uh, what is it? The taillight center, uh, doing a couple custom ones for people. So we got that going on. We got some Lux uh, taillight tint. This one is for uh, Mr. Honestly OCD. We got to finish off his uh, taillight tinting. This is my tinting kit. Uh, well, actually my vinyl kit. It's got everything I use to do vinyl applications, my razors, my squeegees. Inside there, we've got all types of cool tools like magnets, uh, 3M tape. We got, you know, um, some clay. We've got our uh, thermometer here, some tape, pretty much everything you need to do vinyl tossed into one cool little case with my uh, work play drive decals on them. If you're looking to grab these, head over to luxautoconcepts.net and uh, they're actually selling these out for me. So if you're looking for them, that's where you can get them. Um, got my helmet for when we do racing. I got a towel in the car for when I leave the gym, which I haven't gone to in like a million years and I'm all sweaty. I could put it on my seat or anything else that really kind of would get me messy. So if I, you know, working on the car and I get dirty, I can always toss this on the seat to keep my seats clean. Back here, um, got a big box. This one I got from r, &R Metalworks. This is my, uh, hood prop. It's a a little dusty right now because it's been in here for the winter season, but this is my hood prop. It's a Scat Pack B, custom uh, painted to match my Billet Technology stuff. If you're looking for any of this, I'll put that here so you can uh, pause it. Um, he did this and he also painted my Cervini's grill, which I have hidden down here. Um, this I keep in here just because I really like the paint job and there's no need for me to, uh, you know, get it all messed up and I, since I only use it for shows. The grill is not completely necessary. Um, you know, I got some Lux tint over there. Now, um, what else do I have? Got a first aid kit. This is uh, standard. If you go to car shows, you definitely want to have a first aid kit in your trunk. Um, got some 
technology stuff, I got an Amplify home router. This device, when I'm overseas, allows me to VPN into my house no matter where I am and basically have access to all my home devices like my thermostats and my cameras, but it also gives me access to Netflix as if I was in the United States and stuff like that because it basically tunnels all the traffic out my home network. If you're interested in something like that, uh, drop a comment below. I just bought the entire system and uh, I'm loving it so far. I may do a review on it, but you know, if anybody's interested, let me know. So I've got some glass polishing pads and that's for this piece of junk right here. This is my winter beater and the windshield is a total mess. So I'm going to do a video on uh, basically cleaning, deep cleaning and glass pol and polishing the glass windshield because what happens is in that car, when, uh, when cars are coming at me at night, um, it kind of diffuses the light and it's almost blinding just on a perfectly clean windshield. So I can clean it, scrape it, wash it, and it still diffuses the light to the point where oncoming cars kind of really bug my eyes. So hopefully the glass polishing is going to help out um, I also got a waffle weave towel in just for, you know, lint-free window cleaning. This is pretty cool. I picked these up because uh, I'm dressing up my engine bay. It's a uh, wire loom that you can cut. It's braided, but it's not, um, you don't have to slip the wires through it. So I have all my coil pack wiring and what you basically do is it's spring loaded. So you spread it apart, you wrap it around a wire and then you let it go and it reforms itself around. So I'm going to try and clean up my, uh, coil pack wires with this stuff and uh, see if it works out. Um, if you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description for uh, where you can get that on Amazon. This is a very important tool if you go to a lot of car shows. You don't generally have a vacuum at a car show, so you know all the stuff that you get on your car mats, and yes, they judge you for dirt on your car mats, uh, you can use this to kind of pluck all that off. Plus your trunk mat has to be clean, so this is really gonna come in handy to you know, swipe all that stuff up. All right, we have, I just went and picked up a new bottle of tire and rubber cleaner. Uh, I gotta get a gallon of this stuff. I am absolutely in love with this. I am not an Adams fanboy, uh, but they do occasionally throw out a product that is um, basically unlike anything I've ever seen before. We've got uh, rubber mats for our Jeep, uh, the rubber on the tires on this car, and uh, even like, you know, my wife's car where I don't really clean her tires too often and they start turning brown. This stuff really does a good deep clean. It gets all that tire shine and everything off. So this is this is a pretty good product. Um, the detailing place I go to, Detailers Domain, and that's in uh, Norwood, New Jersey. Uh, they were really cool. They gave me two of these because you know my last one broke. And you know if you're a cool guy and you don't complain because these things do break. They're cheap and they're you know a couple cents a piece for the manufacturer. Um, they kind of ruin your time because you get halfway through the bottle and uh, they break. So he hooked me up with an extra one because my last one broke. You know they're cool like that. Uh, we got a Gen 2 Lux kit. This is from like, I don't know, I can't even tell you how long. It's probably last year or something like that. Got all my spare Lux tints in here just in case I need some extra. Um, I got a bunch of cool new Lux kits um, for this car. Um, what do I got here? Um, I got the taillight tints in regular. I have the taillight tint in stealth smoke because I haven't decided what I want to do yet. Um, I was thinking the stealth smoke, which is the it's not open yet the stealth smoke which is matte to match this so it's going to come matte and then matte to here um but i don't know so i got another one which is the um uh what's it called the gloss the dark smoke so in case i change my mind oh wait these are the taillight tints whoops these are the ones i was talking about yeah so here we go so we've got the matte finish and the gloss finish so i think the satin finish would be like a nice um, nice look there. So we'll see. I got all these and then I got extra because now I remember why I have these. So, um, people are asking how to tint out this whole red area. So in other words, to have a fully blacked out taillight. So, um, these are the original Lux tints that I put on my car. I'll give you a real close up. They are dirty, but as you can see, there's no shrinkage. They look good. Well, aside from being dirty, uh, but I have to peel these off so I can tint uh, this whole area to kind of black out this whole area here. Um, and once I do that, I obviously can't keep it like that because that's not the look I'm going for. I really do enjoy these, but at least to show other people that it could be done and it's possible. Um, so, and then once I peel that off, I got my extra kits to put this stuff back on. Let's see. Um, this is cool. This is from SEMA. And uh, you guys, if you guys watch HemiFam, um, he just got his car done in this. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's Matrix Black by 3M. 
They also have another cool color, or it's it's kind of it depends on your taste, but this is like a camouflage uh, satin setup. But this is a sample pack of all their new colors from uh, I picked up at SEMA. Uh, this I really, really, really like, and I can't wait to see it on Ryan's car next week. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a, definitely an awesome color. So if you're looking for something new, like, you know, because carbon fiber is getting a little dated, um, I might be doing my scat striping on in this. Um, we'll see. We shall see how it goes. Um, we got some bill of technology, extra door things in case somebody steals it at a car show. Yes, that happens a lot and it sucks. Please don't steal people's car parts because, you know, it just sucks. And uh, this is from Prismatic Powders. I was I called them up and I was looking for some samples to repowder coat my wheels. Um, I think this one I really like the best, but uh, with the current color, sorry, with the current color of my car, uh, with it black, it would look good. But with the current color of my car, I don't think it's gonna work out. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Plus uh, I've been kind of in love with the Demon Wheels. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, what else is in my trunk? Got paper towels. Always have paper towels just in case. I have uh, baby wipes because, you know, I go to the car shows with my kids. So always got to have those. Uh, Weight Watchers thingy because I'm fat. And uh, ah, this stuff here, another toy for the uh, beast over here. The fabric on the doors is starting to peel off. So I'm going to do a video on how to restore that. Uh, very similar. This is stuff you would use for roof liners and fabric and carpets and all that stuff. Um, last but not least, um, we've got the steel stick. Um, this is remnant from uh, a buddy of mine. He has a uh, 15 uh, Evo and uh, we removed that big wing off the trunk of his car and put on a carbon fiber duckbill. And in doing so, they had, um, I don't know if you ever you ever have a wing on your car and you have like a bunch of holes and the duckbill only covered like this little area. So what we did was we used the steel stick to uh, fill in each of the holes. And then uh, I used a, a light sander to like, you know, shave them down and make them nice and flat. And then what we did was we, you know, did a black layer of vinyl over the top of his trunk to kind of, you know, basically he fill, we filled in the holes, we protected them from moisture. We sanded them flat and then we layered over a uh, some vinyl. He didn't want to destroy the paint, so obviously they're not perfectly flat because we would have had to have sand around a giant area in the trunk, but they were good enough to cover with vinyl and protect it and it looked pretty good. If uh, I could find the footage, I'll throw it up there while I'm blabbing on about this. Um, and that's pretty much it. The, uh, the only other thing that's in my trunk, you guys saw the other day was I installed the, somewhere under this area right here, I installed the uh, taser double bypass with the taser uh, inside down there. Oh, you know what? Let's dive in down there. All right, so now that you helped me clean out my trunk, we're gonna go down below here. All right, so what do we got down here? We've got the air pump, we've got a torque wrench. Uh, I do often take off my wheels and stuff like that, so I like keeping a torque wrench on me. I've got my breaker bar with my uh, Teflon uh, coated um, lug remover. This way I don't scratch my wheels while I'm taking my lugs off. We've got uh, random tools down here, some gloves in case I need to, you know, do something while I'm, I want to keep my hands clean and stuff. I've got a uh, power adapter for a dash cam down here, other random tools, and um, basically a light. And like I said, tons of random tools down here. And then I keep that covered up, keep my torque wrench and my breaker bar all set there. And last but not least, we have the Z Automotive Taser with the double bypass installed. And I have that kind of just stuck to my battery there. So uh, that's pretty much it for the what's in your trunk challenge. Um, I want to thank uh, Blue Dreamin' and um, Riding It Riding In Style for uh, suggesting these. Uh, I do want to call out, uh, let's say, let's call out three guys. We got Mean B, we've got Growl's Garage, and RT Life, because uh, I want to see what's in your trunk, guys. Uh, I'll put links to their channels down below. Be sure to check them out. These guys are some uh, some really cool guys. They kind of stand for the same thing I do, where let's uh, infect the internet with some positive stuff instead of negative. So if I didn't call you out, feel free to do it yourselves and go ahead and drop your video in the description of my video and i will make sure that the spam bots don't kill it and this way we can promote your channel by showing off your what's in the trunk challenge on my description 
and uh you gotta like that camera right wow it's really windy hopefully this uh, audio comes through so i'm about to uh get set up to do some more billet technology installs i gotta clean out my engine bay and uh get set up to start shooting those um if you guys like this video go ahead and drop a thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing and as always clean your dirty air filter oh, i'm sorry thanks for watching all right, real quick, if any of you guys are heading out to Springfest on March 10th in Pomona, California, I'll be out there with Ryan from Hemifam, John from Lux Auto Concepts. We'll be hanging out from Wednesday the 7th through the 10th. You guys want to hook up? I'm going to drop a link in the description below to a Facebook event page. That's where we're going to schedule our tours and whatever shenanigans we're going to get ourselves into. If you're interested in meeting up with us, head over there, drop in a comment. Who knows? We'll see you there.